In a couple of weeks, it gets hot in Santa Rosa, the city of natural lakes. The beaches open and tourists come to town. We'll get through the summer and best we can, you know, but um, I think it's going to be really, really tough out here. Tanika Dodge and Yvonne Gallego spent last summer as lifeguards. They were such lively kids, so we are going to miss them tremendously. Tanika and Yvonne died in February, allegedly gunned down by Joseph Page outside his home near a party spot used by generations of Santa Rosans. Page allegedly told investigators he shot Yvonne Gallegos as she tried to climb into his home after breaking a window. Then he went outside and allegedly shot Tanika Dodge, who was standing nearby. Friends who were with Yvonne and Tanika the night of the shooting told police the two were trying to use the bathroom in Page's home. Then, just hours after police cleared the crime scene, Page's home burned to the ground. Santa Rosa just doesn't see things like this, and many are still looking for answers. Kids are going to be there to have fun. They've been doing this for many years, and like I said, for generations. But the thing is, they never deserved to be murdered. And, uh, and I call it murder. Officially, it isn't yet a crime. Page is being evaluated to see if he's mentally able to be tried. More questions surround the killings, including whether a cell phone call to police was delayed enough to make a life or death difference. Because the phone call was not from our region, it didn't come directly to our dispatch. It went to another area, which was Torrance County. Police and the city have begun revamping their 911 system. Despite the questions both answered and not, life moves on in Santa Rosa. The baseball team Marty Madrid helps coach during the school year is honed in on a run for state. The kids are moving on. You can see that they're trying to move on, but it is totally different in school. The atmosphere is, is totally different. In about two weeks, proud parents will look on as Santa Rosa High graduates its class of 2007. That was Tamika's year, and folks who live around here say that everything will be different because of what happened. I think most students are still going to have a heavy heart, uh, you know, going through it as they're remembering their, their fallen classmate. It's, it's different without her. It's really different. Alex Campos is one of many dealing with the loss of a classmate. Every once in a while, like, a song will come up or we'll be somewhere and a memory will pop up and you'll just think, ah, oh, Tanika should be here. Not long after that thought, Alex says, she'll think the same thing about Yvonne. As spring passes and the baseball season ends, summer begins in Santa Rosa. Lifeguard training is underway and things will get very busy, but no one will soon forget. It's not going to take two months. It's going to take a very long time. And who knows how long that could be. In Santa Rosa, Matt Grubbs, KOAT Action 7 News.